channel. All right, so we are here in Washington, D.C. Uh, trying to make it through this intersection and doing a little FSD beta around town and uh, got it uh, set to the destination just over the bridge in Arlington. So I want to bring it to you live here with FSD beta in control. Let's see how it does. All right, I want to thank everyone for watching this. Hopefully you're having a great day. And um, so far so good. It's uh, pretty cloudy here in the DMV. Uh, we're riding through um, U Street, Florida Avenue, intersection. It smells really good actually. I can smell like food. And I almost want to stop and get out. Must be that Aladdin kitchen up there. Boy, there's like a kebab restaurant over here. Wow. Just uh, the smell of the food kind of makes me want to get out. But I, I know this is traffic time. And this, the longer I wait here, the, 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 the more it piles up. So hopefully FSD can get us out of here. Yeah, those are the restaurants I was talking about that. And you can smell the food coming out. It reminds me of England, actually, that smell. Um, West London, South Hall, Broadway. That's what that smells like, exactly. Which is not bad, actually. They have some of the best food out there. But yeah, some of these streets kind of remind me of there, too. Except it's a lot wider over here, as you can see in DC. You know, each side of the road is like double the space that they give you to drive in, in London. I know that's how it is around the boroughs of London, but I'm sure there are areas that are more suburb -y in England itself. But really excited to see FSD get a chance and a shot in London and Europe and other parts of the world because it's a lot of fun to see the car learn. And uh, with over a year under my belt using it, um, I think it's been quite amazing to, to watch it grow and to see the rate on how much it's improved and how quickly it's improved. Um, when I first got the car, it could barely make a right turn. It actually could not make lefts. And then I remember the point where it could then conquer like roundabouts, uh, then U-turns, unprotected lefts. You know, we, we come a lo we've come a long way. In addition to that, we're talking about FSD version 11, highway FSD, all this stuff has like been rapid improvements since I've got the car. Um, when I first got it, there was like, you know, navigate on autopilot. Ooh, okay, FSD was slowing down in the intersection there. Didn't like that. Follow through. Uh, looks like it's going to try to switch lanes here. Alright, really nice uh, fall foliage out right now too. You can really see the leaves changing colors. It looks nice in the city. Um, only a couple more weeks left of that before all those leaves do fall and we start seeing some snow maybe. Oh my god, what is FSD doing? Look at these bizarre movements. So, it's saying it just wants to go straight. I'm not sure why it's trying to jump into this lane here when this is a... I'm not sure, is it a right turn only lane? It's not. Looks like I can go straight from this lane, and I will. And it looks like we got a roundabout coming up here, so I want to show you how FSD handles this roundabout. Um, looks like we're we're going through it, um, not completely around it, but as you can see from the map picture over here, just about a little less than a half circle. But then following that, we have another roundabout immediately. So that's another thing about DC is a lot of roundabouts here. Kind of reminds me of, again, back in England, 
they they're very serious with their roundabouts over there though they have them everywhere like instead of stop signs pretty much they'll do roundabouts and definitely replaced a lot of lights out there for them um but we we like the light situation oh no what is fsd doing here well really it's this guy in the prius which is he's trying to pull over and park and uh let's see if we can go around this guy actually need to go around everyone on this road here. I'm going to use the indicator and go ahead and get over because people are taking their sweet time over here. Yeah, I'm glad I got over because as you can see there are some really busy drivers here in the city. A little di oh look at the way it switched lanes last second. I really like the way it did that. Kind of really assertively got its spot. Why it's flicking the indicator again, I'm not sure. But all in all, no takeover so far in the entirety of this video. And uh, I'm going to let it go for a few more minutes. I want to see if we can make it. It's saying I have another two roundabouts pretty much back to back and then the bridge coming up. So my goal is to make it to the bridge without any takeovers, which will mean... I was able to get through all of DC without any takeovers. Which I think, you know, should be said for something like that. That's pretty great. If it's working in these urbanized areas, then, you know, it, it could work in other parts of the country and other parts of the world as well, too. But back to what I was saying about, you know, Europe, their streets are designed a little bit different, but. Again, when I was there, um, I saw all the double-decker buses, and I realized that, you know, it's going to be no problem, especially once the Cybertruck launches, you know, they're going to have, like, everyone says, like, oh, it's such small roads over there, it's not going to be able to fit, but that's not the case, you know, it's just really tight. I just think there's a lot of people congested in a small area, which causes there to be, like, um, I want to let that person cross, but it was not there right away. But the issue over there, I think the most is, um, you know, the aggression of drivers. You know, the traffic is so congested that people are constantly trying to cut people off, and the the patience levels are not there. And everyone is super aggravated driving over there from what I've experienced. And people drive pretty crazy and very close to each other and fast. And that's like, you know, within the city. And then another thing I thought was really weird over there was they do like uh, speed based cameras on the highway, which means like when you get from one point to the next, if you get there faster then a, like you know a certain amount of time then you'll get like ticketed because that means you were speeding and i i thought that was bizarre never heard of anything like that here in virginia or in the dmv area so um yeah here we go with the traffic circle interesting move for it to get all the way in the left lane i'm not sure why it did that it's almost like it knew where it wants to exit um, even though it then just got back into the center lane again. Alright, let's go. George Washington University here. To our right, we're going to be riding through their campus right here. And then on our way out of D.C., want to thank everyone for making it to this part of the video it's definitely been fun this has been a great one to shoot because fsd has been able to to drive my entire commute for me and um just a little bit left um once i hit that bridge i know i'm pretty much home so yeah, not too much longer over here. We just got a slight stop sign, which take a look at the way it does make a stop. 
fully and accounts for the guy crossing. See how he gets highlighted in blue? As soon as he clears the way, it's going to go ahead and continue through. Very nice job. And again, full stop. That's something that, you know, human drivers get a little annoyed and ticked off. Oh, why did it come to that stop right there? I'm not sure that wasn't good. But some people just blow through stop signs and that's not good because, you know, anything could be there on the other side. You gotta be careful and make sure you come to that complete stop and see if anyone's crossing and stuff like this person straight ahead see how it's got them highlighted blue well before they even hit the crosswalk so that way they know you know i like the fact that it's almost thinking about accounting for them now all right so let's take a look at this last part of the video here we're gonna try to scoot our way through this traffic circle this is a weird one is a traffic circle but we're actually entering it from right here and then interesting it's getting into this lane it's already finding the trajectory which is really cool and then we're gonna pass the this is the Watergate Hotel right in front of me if I'm not mistaken and then the Embassy of Saudi is right there behind it and uh, the Kennedy Center is right here. Ooh, look at that. Very interesting.